Hey everyone. All right guys, I got a pretty cool video today for you. Well, at least I think it's gonna be a cool video. So um, I get at, I get not asked, I guess told a lot that um, I should be buying gold instead of silver because you know silver is way too heavy and it's way too bulky that you just can't put enough silver in a smaller space. Now, there's nothing to say, I can't disagree about it. it's heavy because I just got done carrying a bunch of it to uh, my table here and yes, it is heavy for sure. But how bulky is it? So I wanted to do a little test on finding out how much silver you can put in a one cubic foot. And a cubic foot is, you know, one foot by one foot by one foot. Um, how much silver could you actually realistically, I'm not saying in a cube, like one big poured cube, like realistically with real silver, how much you can actually fit in that? Because I think even some, some smaller safes have about a cubic foot of storage. So we're going to find out today, people. We're going to find out today. Um, before we get, oh, before we go over that though, I want you guys to comment down below, no cheating, no cheating, comment down below how much silver, we're talking like real silver pieces, not, not like once again, they're gonna be in monster boxes. We're gonna find out how many monster boxes it takes to be a, a cubic foot. Uh, how much silver do you think can fit into one cubic foot? Comment down below, and then at the end of the video, we can uh, see who was the closest. So, all right, let's get into it. Before I do that, first up, Let's go over what a cubic foot is. It's 12, like I said, it's one foot by one foot by one foot, which is 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches, which is 1,728 cubic inches. So right in front of you, I have four Royal Canadian Mint bar monster boxes. These are a little bit smaller than other monster boxes. These were, they came with uh, 10 ounce um, pressed RCM bars. So they're a little bit smaller, but they stack really nicely. and. Once you get them filled up, they're, they're still pretty damn heavy. Um, and so the measurements of these four are gonna be 10 inches by 10 inches by 14 inches. So we have a total of 14 cubic inches right here that it'll take up in your safe or your storage or whatnot. So that's actually about, it's actually, it's 81% of a cubic foot, but I just put 80%. So it's 80% of an actual cubic foot. And I got my measuring tape out here to let you guys know so I am not cheating. And actually, I did round up these numbers. It's actually not quite. Okay, so. There we go. We're at the end. There we go. I went in 14, which is a little bit further than it actually is. When you go high, it is actually like nine and a half, but I went up 10. And then when you go deep, Right there, it's actually nine and a half, but I went 10. So, all right, let's see what is actually in these. I just grabbed four random boxes. These are the easiest ones to me to get. And right off the bat, we have poured silver, big surprise. Um, this is MK bars. As you can see in here, there's plenty of space. So it's, I just threw this stuff in here. So it's not like this is packed perfectly. So we got some MK bars, let's see. We have some Atlantis Mint Bars. So these are actually smaller, more, these are uh, smaller bars. These are like one, in, one ounce poured silver. They're in baggies because they're separated out the different kinds. Um, and let, let me pause this and see what's actually on the bottom. All right, well, very cool. I got a nice little, uh, nice little diverse stack. So I got some, and this other one, these are some 100 ounce bars along with Let's see, that's my asset. Oh man, I haven't seen that in forever. That thing is so cool. So I got 300 ounce bars in there, along with it looks like some Scottsdale tombstone, some uh, Monarch Precious Metals stuff, and some other bars like that. My other ones, my Scottsdale, so I have just a bunch of miscellaneous Scottsdale stuff. So yeah, nice little variety. So all right guys, well, give me I have no idea how many ounces in each one of these. Um, so give me probably two hours, <laughs> I'd say. I'm gonna count all this. I'm gonna lay it out nice on the table so you guys can see everything. And we'll see uh, how much it adds up to. So this, <laughs> this is a lot of stuff, I can already tell. This is gonna be a lot. And this is in only 80% uh, of a cubic foot. So, all right guys, well, give me, like I said, plenty of time. Luckily I have today off, so. Uh, I get to play with my silver today and we get to find out something pretty interesting. So I'll be right back. 
All right, guys. Yep, that did take some time. I was a little bit off. It took about two and a half hours to get all this uh, set up and looking pretty for you guys. Looking pretty nice. So here we go. Right off the gate, first box was the Atlantis Mint Box. These are one ounce bars, just miscellaneous bars. They're stacked in stacks of 10. And you have their cute little five gram bars. So uh, there's 20 of them, so that equals uh, 100 grams, which is 3.215 ounces. Then you have some of their two ounce bars. They're stacked in 10, so each stack is 20 ounces, and then you have the last stack, which is five, so that'd be 10. I have five of their one ounce dice, so that's five ounces. We got 20 of their half ounce bars, so two stacks of 10, so that'd be 10 ounces. Then we have um, 20 of their 100 gram bars, so that's 200 grams I got, so that'd be like 6.43 ounces. And then I have four stacks of their um, one ounce bars with one extra just sitting on top. Three of their uh, three ounce bars. Some of their miscellaneous 10 ounce bars, there's three. There's another three of their pirate 10 ounce bars. There's two of their lion bars. And then I have 11 of their five ounce um, bars, skull and crossbone bars. So you're looking at 55 ounces there. I have 11 of their five ounce pirate bars. So you're looking at um, 55 ounces there. And then I have 10 of their uh, just Atlantis mint bar. So that's 50 ounces. And then over here, I have one bar there and the rest of these are stacked in tens. Have their lion bars, wolf bars, eagle bars, so. And then up here I have three of their seven ounce bars and two of their nine ounce Glocks. So that's the Atlantis Mint Box. The stuff above that goes in the 100 ounce box. So that all equaled 699 99.6 ounces, so. Just shy of 700 ounces fit into that box, guys. That is a lot of silver in a small little container. It, fit, it fits in there pretty snug, so not a whole lot of uh, room wasted. Let's get to my miscellaneous uh, 100 ounce, I call it my 100 ounce box because I had 100 ounce bars in it, but also has some Scottsdale and some uh, um, Monarch Precious Metals, so. First up, we have my 100 ounce uh, poured USSA bar, which is very cool, one of my favorite bars. Two of the Johnson Math, the uh, 100 ounce bars. I have some old 10 ounce uh, Academy bars, there's three of them there, different styles. Academy was bought out by Scottsdale, so they're an older company. And that is a 10 ounce Monarch Precious Metals uh, uh, Pirate bar. Speaking of Monarch Precious Metals, I have 10 of their 50 gram bars, 10 of their three ounce bars, 10 of their uh, 10 ounce bars, 10 of their one ounce bars, 10 of their uh, two ounce bars, tombstones, 10 of their five ounce bars, and then we have the, um, the Scottsdale tombstones that I had in there, so I have 10 it, these tombstones are super cool. So I have 10 of their uh, 10 ounce tombstones and 10 of their five ounce tombstones. So everything from here on up, those came to a total of 716 ounces. So I actually was able to stack more in there because obviously these 100 ounce bars, which man, they are a chunk, these 100 ounce bars obviously, uh, you're not losing a whole lot of space. So the bigger the bars, the more tightly you can pack them, the more silver you can get in uh, that area. So moving on, this was my Scottsdale, my Scottsdale box. 
right up we have 20 of their uh, coin bar, New Way coin bar, 2013s. Yep, 2013. Then I have 10 of all of their uh, stackers, which are cool. So these are the two ounce. And it's cool, they actually fit inside each other, so they stack up really nicely, even though they're, they're high relief, as you can see. So, I have 10 of those, which is 20 ounces, 10 of the five ounces, which is 50 ounces, and 10 of the 100 gram bars, which is 32.15 ounces. Speaking of 100 gram bars, I have another 14, that's a stack of 10, another four of their 100 gram bars. These are five ounce buttons, and I have 16 of those. So you're looking at 80 ounces of those. I have just one of their um, newer 10 ounce cast bar and one of their newer five ounce cast bar. I have 12 of their five ounce um, prey bars, poured prey bars, which are really, really cool. Those, so that's uh, 60 ounces there. 10 of the rare, um, I've only ever seen these sold on eBay for a short period of time, so I, I was lucky to pick them up when I did. These are what they, they used to call them their gloss bar. I have 10 of those, so that's 100 ounces. And then here are my favorite Scottsdale bar by far. It's their 10 ounce poured um, silver bar. I have a stack of 10 there, and then an additional four, so I had 140 ounces of those hiding in that box. And then lastly, I have this beautiful pyramid of their 20 ounce bars, and I have 10 of those. So you're looking at 200 ounces just right there. It's a thing of beauty. All right, so for my Scottsdale box, we are looking at 762 ounces. This was the heaviest box of them all because they're nice, larger, square, um, Bars, they fit in there very nice, so all those, that's why the, the round stuff is on top, but all this stuff below it was packed in tight. So, that was by far the heaviest. So that was 716 ounces in that one. And lastly, which was my lightest, and you'll see why, is my MK Bars box. Let me zoom, there we go, get the whole thing. As you can see, I'm not gonna go over what every piece is called but you can just get a, a quick overview of all of them and realize why this box was full. That's a cool picture right there. That's cool. Um, why this box was full, but it did not weigh quite as much. And that's because these are all kind of weird shapes and sizes. And so it, it leaves a lot of spare uh, space in between each of these pieces because they don't fit together, you know, as well as stacking up, you know, um, rectangle or square uh, bars. So, but man, that is pretty. That's a beautiful sight. So that actually added up to 525 ounces for that one. So that was the smallest one. So here we go. So out of these four boxes, the total came to 2,000. 706.6 ounces of silver in 0.8 cubic feet, which that means is each one of those boxes is probably 0.2 cubic feet each, so I could have added one more box to it. And if I did, let me show you. If I did, this is what we'd be looking at. So that's the, that's the totals of all the different uh, boxes came up to that which by the way is about 185 pounds i was concerned about breaking my table again when i was putting them all down there because each box you know that's 185 pounds divided by four boxes so you're looking at about 46 47 pounds per box they're they're they're, they're pretty heavy for such a little box i mean these boxes are not huge so um, anyway so for the 0.8 cubic feet it was 2706.6 so if i had one more box I just basically did the math. We'd be looking at 3,383 ounces of silver in one cubic foot. Guys, that's gonna, that is more than most people stacks for sure. Obviously, if you, if you get coins, um, if you get coins that have capsules and things like that, 
it's obviously gonna take up a lot more space. But if you're just looking to stack some weight and uh, put it in a small space, I highly suggest just going, going the bar form. Um, they fit together so much better and you can stack a ton of weight in a very, very small space. So, anyways guys, it's a lot of work. I got a lot of cleaning up to do now. <laughs> and uh, that should be fun. But yeah, it was really it was really cool seeing all some of these pieces I've not seen in years um, that were uh, stacked away in the vault, so to speak. But all right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I should have some more videos for you guys soon. Appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a good one.